Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name's Amy. For those who are returning, thank you. For those who are new, this is me. I am normally sitting in my bedroom in a very messy house right now um, because I'm too injured to do a whole lot of cleaning. Um, but I was in multi-level marketing. I've actually been in a lot of different companies, but the one that impacted me the most and the one that I speak out against the most is Beachbody. And I have been stewing on this all night long because I was so upset <clears throat> by this yesterday. And I know a lot of people were really upset by this um, yesterday. I'm going to start actually. Let's, let's, let's go back to little Amy. Okay, so this, this was back in 1993, you guys. So I would have been 14. I would have been 14 years old. Um, on this and I'm gonna have to edit as I <laughs> read this entry because I don't want to negatively implicate I guess anybody um, but I said a family member can be so frustrating I was going to get a piece of cake this afternoon this person said that I didn't need it uh, because I'd already had some this morning I turned around and I wouldn't need any for the rest of the night even when it was offered to me by my mom it isn't their place to watch what and when I eat. I was so mad and I still am. It is like I have a personal calorie counter living with me. They asked me before when I was eating something if I really needed it. Like it is any of their business anyway. At least I only have to live with it and them for four more days. Um, let's see. Maybe if I lost weight... They would stop making those rude comments. I'm going to try my hardest to lose as much weight as possible. I'm going to stop eating until I lose weight. I'm so sick of being fat. And I'm not going to stop losing weight until I have the perfect body. I won't eat. But if I do, I'll get rid of it really fast. <laughs> That was in 1993, you guys. <clears throat> Weight problems start at a very young age. And society is mean. And society is not um, helpful when it comes to body image and our relationship with our bodies, with food, with exercise. So that is what made this video so painful, I think, to so many of us yesterday. Um, so we're gonna watch <clears throat> we're gonna watch the video and I'm not going to blur this person's face um, because she is a top beach body coach. She is a superstar diamond. She's in million dollar club, so she's very well known. <laughs> Plus, let's be real, this was all over Instagram yesterday. All right, let's go. Um, because I have been chatting with Wesley and just kind of explaining to her like, we're starting to look at like ingredient labels and stuff together. She's finding an interest in that now, which I don't know how long that will last, but um, instead of a lot of the processed food, because I do still buy a lot of the snacks that are just processed because they're easy to buy in bulk and whatever. Um, I mean, excuses, but she is interested right now and we've been eating a lot of like healthier snack options and she loves them and they're like they're obsessed so we're doing that she is starting 21 day fix actually today um she's not into sports not an athlete so i said let's do something and we can document your journey and just like have fun with it and i'll take videos of you working out we'll see you know how much stronger you get anyway sidetracked <laughs> I'm gonna do that really quickly but I am so all right so that was the video when she says she got sidetracked maybe it was because you're driving stop it quit this quit this driving and storing anyway pet peeves um, <clears throat> she's talking about her daughter her daughter is I don't know nine or ten beautiful girl she is a beautiful girl and her mother is going to exploit her doing 21 day fix to try and make sales. She's going to video her working out and you know, they can see how much stronger she's getting. What are you doing? 
what are you doing to these kids? Um, and I want to share a, a thing that my friend um, Jen had posted yesterday. Um, in 2016, American Academy of Pediatrics report found that encouraging children to diet and lose weight was linked to eating disorders. Instead, they encouraged focusing on health behaviors, physical activity without focus on weight loss and changing their bodies and not creating good or bad food hierarchy. The recommended daily intake for a 10 year old is 1600 to 2200 calories. That recommendation increases as they reach puberty. As someone whose disordered eating patterns began around the ages of 11 or 12, what this coach is planning on doing with her 10 year old and to use the experience to promote her business is absolutely disgusting. And so I began, I began really thinking about that and thinking about why would this coach do this? Why, why, why? And I know we're, we call out a lot of people um, that have problematic behaviors, but those behaviors start with the company. And guess what? I'm going to pull up the ultimate portion fix workbook. There is a whole section in here about how to do it for your kids. So let's, let's look, sorry, I'm going to scroll through it really fast. So look away if it's going to drive you crazy. Um, and I do not have I believe there are videos that go along with this. I don't have any of those. Um, and we're going to start here. Um, I don't have any of the videos because this recommends video 23. I don't know what that is. Um, how you approach food affects not only your relationship with food, but your child's relationship with food as well. In this video, we dive into what your relationship is with food, how you talk about your body, how to change the negative self-talk to positive self-talk, and how this impacts your kids. You have three habits to break. Using food as a reward, using food as comfort, packing the same thing over and over for lunch. So then there's a worksheet. Um, and now we are going, and there's a lunch planner, of course, with all of the recipes. Um, I'm also going to point out one of the things that they would like you to do. Let's look at that lunch menu actually really quickly. Um, I just want to point out the fact that included in this is daily sunshine smoothie. Oh wait, could that be a product that you sell? You have a shake that you market to kids so that then they're already in. They're already in and it'll be a pretty natural transition from daily sunshine to Shakeology. And I, it's been a long time since I've looked at Daily Sunshine. I think the cost was fairly comparable to Shakeology. Um, and it was disgusting. It was disgusting. All right, so you're going to find the right plan for your child. All kids are different. Nobody knows your child like you do. If they have any special medical or dietary needs, make sure to first run this and any other meal plan by your pediatrician or other medical provider. You're, you know, basically protecting your butt at this point. You are going to decide how active your child is, sedentary, moderately active, or active. Then they're going to give you a chart based on gender, age, and activity level to find the proper calorie bracket for your child. A sedentary female. Sedentary, a child who gets no phys other physical activity than recess gym at school, spends two hours a day or more on sedentary leisure activities such as reading an electronic device, moderately active, and then active. So a sedentary female child, those are how many containers they get in a day. That's right. You're going to have them start measuring their food. And they only get one healthy fat. That's what I got as an adult. They need healthy fat. They need healthy fat for their brains. Ooh, I swear, you guys. And did you notice that that healthy fat does not change ever? How much they increase. 14 to 18 year old, years old, the most you're going to have them eat is 1,800 calories. Here's for a moderately active female child and an active female child. Oops, I don't know why that just went all the way down. But again, if you notice, a lot of the things that they're going to be eating aren't changing. They're, they're not necessarily changing 
Um, protein amounts are pretty much the same between moderately active and active. They do get one additional red um, if they're 14 to 18 years so that they're eating more 2400 calories. Um, I Here's sedentary male child. I'll leave this up for a second so you guys can see this. Moderately active. Again, they only get one healthy fat as well. And a healthy fat is a quarter of an avocado. That would be your healthy fat for the day. Or that small blue container of cheese. An active male child. Well, I don't know why my phone keeps going up. So sorry. I'm going to have to scroll back down to where I was. Portion ranges give you and your child wiggle room. You'll notice the largest ranges are fruits and vegetables. If your child is hungry, vegetables and fruits make a great snack. <sighs> Depending on your child's age, they may or may not consume a full container in one sitting. For example, you may only wish to serve half of a red container at a time for a child four years of age. Um, here's your tally sheet example so you can make sure that they're, you know, tracking all of their stuff. Oh, and let's make it fun. Let's give them a rainbow chart where they can mark off what they're supposed to be eating in a day. Is that amazing? That's amazing. Oh, wait, what's in the corner? Let's zoom in. Oh, how many daily sunshines did you have that day? Or that week, that week. Oh, there's enough that you could have one every day and you could mark that off. And then when you get to the end of the week, let's give you whatever reward it's going to be. You're going to give them points each day based on what they did. Are you kidding me right now? This is the problem. This is the problem. It is the coaches. It is the company. They need, they should be ashamed of themselves. They never actually say that they are a diet company, but they prove they're a diet company at every turn. They are not concerned about health and wellness, especially the health and mental wellness of our kids, of us. Their goal is to get your kids into this exact same eating behavior. So guess what? When they turn 18, they're primed to be your next coach. This is disgusting. This is gross. And I highly encourage you to write in to compliance at beachbody.com. And I will put that in my show notes. And I will put links to some of these things in my show notes. And to some different articles about helping your kids have a good relationship with food. And I can tell you right now, it is not by having them mark their tally points on a sheet or marking how many daily sunshines they had in a day, in a week, in a week. I, my heart hurts for this girl and I really hope that her mother sees the comments that people are making and that she can change and that she will realize what she's doing to this poor little girl. What do you guys think? Like, am I projecting myself onto this? Am I, I'm not actually, I'm not even, <laughs> let me know what you think below, but I don't feel like that. I feel like I am trying to save other people from going through the trauma that I did. The disordered eating patterns, trying to be anorexic and bulimic, trying to do whatever was possible to reach this ideal that I'm just never going to reach. And I understand that. And I'm happy. I'm happy. Please make sure, comment, like, subscribe, because we're going to be getting into the train wreck that was Summit um, and talking about these things um, in a lot more detail about the problems with the company. Thanks, you guys.